Hi, Stampers. Welcome. Well, here is today's card. So it's all stenciled. It's a fall car card with all the fall colors. So I'm excited to share it with you if I can get it in the camera. <laughs> it was so much fun to make. I'm excited to share it with you. And if you're new, I do five cards and five videos a week, and my videos are short. I do all the fast forwarding for you so you can just enjoy it. So make sure you subscribe and let's make a card. Hi, Stampers. Welcome. It's Nancy from Stamp and Shout. Well, we're right in the middle of our stenciling classes. We're using the Abundant Beauty Masks, which I'm calling stencils. And this is the one we're going to use today. Yay, it's so pretty. Wait till you see our card. So far, we've used this one. It's kind of like a herringbone or a geometric pattern. And we used the sunflower stencil, which is actually four stencils to create the sunflower card that we did yesterday. Tomorrow, we're going to use the snowflake stencil. Wait till you see that one. It's gorgeous. And then on Friday, I really have a fun, 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 fun card for you. So today, this is the card we're going to make. So it's a fall card. We used all the fall colors and everything. I'm also using the Sending Smiles stamp set, and it comes with coordinating dies. So let me bring in the supplies. So I'm doing the base in pumpkin pie, and inside and out, I have white pieces. I have a scrap, a couple of scraps. And then I have our matte piece in pumpkin and our white stamping piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and score this. I usually do that off camera, but let's go ahead. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and I am scoring it at four and a quarter. I will have all of the measurements and the supplies that I used and shopping links on my blog, which is stampandshout.blogspot.com. And let me bring in my bone folder here, make sure I get a nice crease. And let's do the easy stuff first. Let's go ahead and stamp our flower. So I am going to stamp that in Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to bring in the leaf stamp. So this stamp set has a few different stems with the leaves, a few different flowers. If you've missed any of my videos this week, go back and watch them again. Uh, they do include the Sending Smile stamp set and, of course, the um, Abundant Beauty Masks. So I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp it so the, the flower stem is right in the center. So it's going to be kind of curvy. And I'm stamping it at the bottom because we're going to have something going across the top. And then let me bring in pumpkin pie. And I'm going to stamp a big flower right there on the top. Pretty. And then for the center, I'm going to bring in the little teeny tiny circle or oval, and I'm going to stamp that in Cajun Craze. So they're polymer stamps, which photopolymer stamps, which means you can see through them, so it's really easy to line up. So there is our flower. And that's going to go right on our mat piece eventually. But let's do the fun stuff. So I'm going to bring my stencil in, and I'm going to bring in a scrap sheet. And I'm going to line the stencil up there, but I'm going to put my stamping piece right underneath it. And with the leaves, I'm, I'm not too worried that it's going to be straight, but I do want it right in the center of my stencil. So I'm going to adhere my stencil down with washi tape. Then I'm going to bring in my blending brushes. So these sell for a set of five um, with Stampin' Up!, and I'm going to bring in all my inks. So I've got Cajun Craze, and I've got Pumpkin Pie, and I have Old Olive, and Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to start with Crumb Cake and see if that's dark enough. So I have sponges that I've used already, so I'm kind of going to lay them with the right ink color. And yellow, okay. So I just kind of went and did my thing with this. I just kind of took my blending brushes, dipped it, dabbed it in the ink, and colored in my card. I'm going to bring in my sample here. And let's see. I guess I'll start with the green. So I kind of did maybe two of the images 
in one color and then I switched to another color and just kept going around the card like that. And I wasn't too, too worried if it overlapped um, because when it got all done, it really looked pretty. So I'm going to go with the crumb cake right here and you can see there's a couple of acorns. So I'm just going to kind of color in the acorns like that. And it may overlap slightly into the leaf part, but I'm not too worried about that. And since I have the brown out, I'm going to do these acorns over here. So to see the crumb cake is dark enough. And then let's see, let's do some yellow. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, it was pretty darn easy. It wasn't too picky. I just went around picking up different colors and coloring in different leaves. Wasn't worried about how it matched or anything. And uh, it turned out really, really pretty. So I'm going to go to a couple of leaves on the inside before we keep going. All right, I want to stamp just a couple on the inside. So I'm going to bring my inside piece here. And I'm going to bring my, I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to do a couple leaves up at the top. So I'm just going to go like that with my little ma with my little mask. And I'm going to tape my paper down so it doesn't move. And I think I'm just going to do a couple of, I don't know, do a couple of orange leaves up here at the top and see what it looks like. I want to be careful not to go off the edge because that, that'll leave a line. Oh, yeah, that turned out cute. I like it. Very cute. I got a little orange here. That is cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm deciding if I want to play with this edge a little bit here. I think I will. I think I'm just going to put a little bit. So it looks, yep, that's better. Okay, so that's the inside of our card. Now we can put this card together. So this mask, I want to tell you, is really easy to clean. You just have to run it under the water, under the kitchen sink or wherever, and uh, just use a little paper towel, and that ink comes right off, and it's ready for your next your next card. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment on this piece and on this scrap piece here, and I'm going to stamp the sending in pumpkin pie, and I'm going to stamp the, a card to say hello in the Cajun craze. I'm going to stamp it in the Cajun craze because we're going to put it on the pumpkin pie cardstock so it'll show up better with the Cajun craze. So now with the Ascending Smile stamp set, it comes with the cute little die that I'm going to cut the sentiment out with. And it also comes with the outline for sending, which I'm going to use to cut that out. And then we'll finish our card. So we have those sentiments cut out. And now I have to do a little bit of gluing. So I'm going to glue our pretty, our pretty leaves on the front and the inside piece. And then I'm going to glue our flower piece to the mat piece. And then we'll finish with the sentiments. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. And I'm going to lay this down with dimensionals. I'm also going to use the mini dimensionals and pop up our sentiments. So for the sending, because it's being popped up, because it's laying on the popped up center, I am just going to put glue in the center and a dimensional on each end, and that'll bring it to the same height. So I'm going to angle it. And I'm going to add a few embellishments here, but there it is so far. So I hope you're liking this card. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my rhinestones and I'm going to bring in my pumpkin pie uh, stampin' blend. And I'm going to color in a couple of rhinestones so they're a little bit more orangey. And then I'm going to put them on our card. There, that kind of finished it off. It's really, really pretty now. So stenciling leaves, isn't that cool? Didn't it turn out really pretty? Do you like it? Let me know, leave your comments because comments will be entered to win today's card and all the information will be on my blog. So if you really like the stencils, they are coming out September 6th. So I will do another post and another link so you don't miss it. And um, 
All the other information will be on my blog, the sizes and the colors and the shopping links. And if you shop with me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow for a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas card. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.